JD144 asks, as a new ham, I'm wondering about the bottom of the solar cycle is going to be like. Oh. <laughs> so um we're gonna well let's let's talk a little bit about uh what we can expect uh propagation yeah, like that scene from hellraiser we <laughs> have sites to show you the past the past solar minimum was awful mm -hmm. it was bad i mean and i was just getting into my hf career we'll call it at the bottom and it, it it was a struggle but it was one of the worst minimums we've had in a while yes mm -hmm. so i mean i don't think we're going to get quite such a bad one this time around but it does happen yep yep it um and basically what what is going to be happening as you get to the solar minimum what happens is um activity on the higher bands 10 and 15 meters becomes less and less frequent and you get more activity on the lower bands, 40, 75, 80 meters. And then when you get towards the bottom of the cycle, um, the 160 meter band just comes to life uh, because there's no, there's no solar activity. So you have no noise mm -hmm. of the sun and um, noise, uh, atmospheric noise is a thing that just ruins 160 meters, just like AM radio. Uh, so it's, uh, it, you know, you, that's when, you know, that's every, your maximum usable frequency drops. So you see a lot more stuff happening on 40, 80, and 160 meters. Mm -hmm. 20 meters is, is just like the, the bellwether band. It's good, high or low, high or low, you know. <laughs> 20 or 40, you can make contacts on almost any day of the week. Mm -hmm. Yep. Um, good with with good propagation and poor propagation. But you know we're going to talk a little bit about what's happening right now um, because we are close to the we are at the peak of the sunspot cycle, and the we just got the June solar sunspot numbers in, and um, this blue line is kind of pre the prediction line here, and then these this this dot this line graph that is let's see if I could get this. Um, straightened out here a little bit. This is this is what's actually happening, and it appears, you know, now that we've we've moved a few months forward, that the peak was probably in near October of um, it could be August or August to October of 2024. So yeah, yeah, and now we're 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 definitely seeing a progression downwards. Yeah, it just seems like yesterday we were at the bottom of the cycle, doesn't it, Michael? <laughs> Does well, it not? I feel like we went months without sunspots. Months. Yeah, well, look at look at this. Twenty nineteen, you know, yeah. there was there was not even not you know not even one sunspot, not even one, you know just less than yeah. one sunspot average. Yeah, so. it was it was just atrocious. It was the worst solar minimum in a long time, and it really didn't it really didn't it, kick it, off it until ham radio. Um, yeah, they really, yeah, and, yeah, oh, absolutely. And then it seems sort of spike, and now we're, we're already past peak. It just feels weird to me, but yeah, we're at, we're at the second half of 2025 already. Yep. Uh, we're gonna start to go downhill. It's gonna be good for a long time, though. The next two, mm -hmm. three years are gonna have good numbers. Oh, yeah. Um, yeah, I would say by 2028, that's when it's gonna start getting rough again. It's gonna get rough again, but we'll, but before, definitely for the rest of this year, all of all of 2026. You know, expect because we had we had great conditions. Uh, what happens as as you climb? Typically, numbers climb fast, mm -hmm. and and your propagation gets better really quick. As you can see, this is this is sort of a steep slope. As mm -hmm. as we trend back downwards towards the solar minimum, the slope yeah. is much is 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 gradual. So it's going to be a slower descent back into the minimum but it's going to be good for the next two years so yeah. um got a lot of uh good just, stuff to look forward to scroll back just a little bit uh historic um, history wise yeah, back to like 4 2014 okay so yeah the the previous sunspot the sunspots or sun cycle was yeah. again it was atrocious the high the solar maximum look at where that solar maximum was in 2014 Compared to mm -hmm. the two previous, the, our current solar max and the previous yeah. solar max, this that's is just yeah, how I, atrocious it was. Yep. Um, the other thing that we're also seeing is that there, there's usually a double bump. So 
you can see 2002. There were two. There were two bumps there mm -hmm. that were maxed out. In 2012, 2013, or 2012, 2014, there were two bumps. So I think we might see a little peak yet again in the next year. We could. We could see that. We could see another bump coming in, and then and then it all and then it'll drop off a little bit a little bit quicker. So right. maybe by um, next winter into early 2026 we might see a second peak yeah. um it'll it's 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 you know um see you know we'll have to, we'll have to wait and see you know remains to be seen if that's going to happen but that that it, it, it's very much in the realm of possibilities because we've seen the double bump in the last two cycles yeah so yeah. so keep your, but, i mean again this is not the end like it, mm -hmm. Radio is not going to be bad tomorrow, guys. No, um, no. And even then, if we hit the minimum, relax. I mean, mm -hmm. last time we hit the minimum, God gave us FTA, right? <laughs> 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 yeah. Innovation, you know, um, uh, necessity breeds innovation. Yes. Um, I, I, I just dropped down to the second graph here. Uh, radio, uh, the, R, the SFI, the, the solar flux progression uh -huh. and we can see sfi has gone you know since january it has dropped and i've noticed that this from the the these these winter months uh, early spring to now i've seen you know last year we were we were seeing sfis um 150 200 two and a quarter yeah um, this year you know, since the beginning of the year, the SFI has just been a lot, a lot more reasonable. 150, 125, 115. I think right now, well, we're sitting at 120 right now. So it's, um, uh, yeah. Um, so the solar flux index is, you know, there again is a good indicator of activity. A high SFI number usually means we're going to get some nice um, openings on 15 and 10 meters. So. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. Don't don't give up hope. I think yeah. the best is yet to come. Let's just say that we're in, we're yep. in for a good couple of years here. Enjoy it while it lasts. Yep. Yep. Exactly. Exactly. Um, so, uh, Chuck said, "Yeah, we had a solar event today. Yes, we did. I, I believe there was a CME. I don't. I think it was. It's supposed to hit the Earth uh, this weekend. And um, well, there I goes our thirteen colonies, huh?" <laughs> KB9 VBR antennas are simple, effective, and affordable VHF and UHF antennas for amateur radio, MERS, public safety, and GMRS. Made in the USA with quality parts. Get yours online at jpol-antenna.com.